LBX makes a nice, um, I believe this is their large padded bag. And what I like about it is, it's pretty discreet. There's nothing really that screams firearm inside this, this bag. It's pretty simple, pretty simplistic. However, inside, I've got a Noveski 300 Blackout. The barrel length on this is pretty much eight inches. It's, by the textbook, it's just shy of eight inches, but this is an eight inch barrel, we'll just make it simple. Uh, of course, Surefire Light with a pressure pad on it. I have Burn Proof Make suppressor covers, but what I'm currently using right now and trying out is this Burn Proof shielding that goes on the rail. And when I was down in uh, New Jersey, GST, uh, they gave me one of these things to try out and just see if I like it. Because sometimes when you're running suppressed, the rails get extremely hot. I'm running an Aimpoint Nano on it. And one of the nice things about this Law Tactical stock is that it, it gives you a much smaller footprint because you can side fold the stock. Drawback is you can't shoot from this position because of, of course, the way the AR is designed, but at least for method of carry, it is really good in regards to that. Uh, Geisley charging handle, I like these really um, small airborne charging handles that they have. And then of course, normally a Geisley trigger. I like to run a 20 round mag in the gun for initial grab and go. Uh, this bag, if I tried to put a 30 in it, it really wouldn't fit well. So what I do is Ferro Concepts has a couple Velcro mag attachments right here and I just run two 30 round mags uh, right there. So when I lay the gun down, basically what I'm doing is the stock sits the gun up a little higher. So I pack the magazines and the suppressor underneath the gun and then I just fold all this up. Condition Gray makes a, a Velcro that actually works really good in regards to holding the sling in place. <clears throat> because of the uniqueness of the way the gun kind of folds up, clipping it to the back doesn't always work as well. So I like this um, option as far as putting it on the rail itself. This is just a blue force padded uh, Vickers sling. And then when you fold the gun out, you have your normal uh, configuration right here. So what this does is it definitely gives you a, a, a good capability. This is classified as a pistol, which makes it really nice. And then as far as suppressors go, right now I have an old uh, AAC 300 BLK can. And then I have, cause I've been using them for a, a long period of time. I have one of the Griffin suppressor covers. Burn Proof makes them as well. There's a lot of other companies that make them. Uh, what I do with the Griffin one is I take and I tie a little knot in here and then I take that knot and I pull it right over the Surefire light and or I can do this on a set of irons as well. It doesn't take much, it's just enough to hook it. And whether you run this over a light like this, uh, whether you run it on a iron uh, and, and utilize it to hold on to an off angle iron, one of the cool things about it is it's just very simple, but when you're shooting the gun, you don't have that suppressor cover walking off the end of your gun. And then of course, most people shoot it, right? So this, once you get this thing set up, this allows you to shoot the gun, fire the gun, and not have to worry about whether or not the cover is gonna be in your way, twist on you, um, or whether you're gonna end up shooting it off the gun. So with that, do understand that most of these suppressor covers I mean, I get people that come out to the range all the time and they tell me like, yeah, it's gonna be good. You know, you can machine gun fire it. And we do a couple range sessions and they're having to get it off their gun and we're having to pour water all over it because it caught on fire. That suppressor is, it, it's immense the amount of heat that, that comes off that can. So yeah, for an initial, you know, few mags, you're probably gonna be good. And it'll be there to save you. That cover will be there to save you if that thing touches clothing or your skin or anything else, if you have to do something um, a little bit more um, dynamic in nature, right? However, it's not a gobstopper. You're not gonna just sit there and go five mags, go back, reload, five mags, go back, reload, five mags. It's gonna melt, okay? And you're gonna end up having issues. So just keep that in mind in regards to suppressor covers. But with that said, you have a very small package 
that fits in this little bag and it becomes this, which is super cool. So just something to consider and think about.